Did Taylor Swift's father really assault a photographer? And what's going on with the royal family? Hi, welcome back to a quick look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines, entertainment, and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell. Let's get right into the show. So first thing is first, news broke earlier this week that Taylor Swift's father is being accused of assaulting a photographer in Sydney. We have the details of what's gone down. We have the response from Taylor's father. We need to dive right on in because news broke, as I mentioned, I believe it was Monday, from Sydney law enforcement that they're investigating an assault, an alleged assault that occurred between, they didn't ever name the people involved, but we can get into how they knew who was involved two men um, with a photographer claiming that he was allegedly assaulted. Okay, now there is a video that has been obtained by TMZ where you can see a man who is clearly Taylor's dad, Scott, walking next to Taylor, who is covered herself with an umbrella. So basically you can't see her head and her upper body, but you can see her legs. Uh, and this is something Taylor does often to basically prevent paparazzi from being able to take photos of her. And this was right after her last show in Sydney, it was like in the early hours of the morning, um, her leaving. And in the video, you can see a photographer is like trying to get a picture of Taylor. And then he's being blocked by somebody holding an umbrella. And then it kind of stops. You can't really see what else happens that you you don't see we can't see any actual assault quote unquote assault happening in the video but that is the instance that i guess perpetuated everything else that came after um so as i mentioned i the photographer alleged that scott assaulted him of course taylor's team came out put out a statement explaining what happened and and gave a response to to the claim this is what um, a spokesperson for taylor swift said they said that two individuals were aggressively pushing their way towards taylor uh, and that they were grabbing at her security personnel and threatening to throw a female staff member into the water now this doesn't exactly it doesn't exactly claim that Scott didn't do something to the photographer, but I guess what their statement says is the photographers were being very aggressive towards Taylor. So therefore, you know, they, they were not respecting Taylor's boundaries. Um, still a lot to uncover, still a lot to figure out what's going on. As a very biased Swifty, I am on Team Scott um, because as we know, as we've seen countless times, through decades and decades, it doesn't matter what star it is. The paparazzi are out of their minds. They are out of control. The, the lengths that they'll go to to get the, sh the, sh the shot, to get... I mean, they do some crazy, crazy stuff. They do not respect people's privacy. It's just... It is not... It is not okay. It is not okay. And I will always be, obviously, assaulting someone. And I'm not saying Scott did, but that's never okay. But... I think we've just seen again countless times over the years paparazzi will go at any length to get the shot that they that that they need and they very often don't respect people's space and personal area and their privacy frankly so we'll have to wait and see what happens with this story i kind of assume it's gonna get settled dropped i don't really it feels like a lot of nothing here but we'll wait to find out Okay, moving on to our next story of the day, which is that Prince William has very last minute pulled out of attending the memorial service for his late godfather, King Constantine of Greece, due to, quote, personal matters. Now, I don't know if you've been following what's gone on with the royal family in the last handful of months, but things have been very strange and slightly concerning. I think there's a lot of people reading into a lot of things that are going down. So obviously, I think the biggest piece of news was that Prince Charles announced his cancer di diagnosis. He has prostate cancer. He is currently receiving treatment for it. We don't know what 
what stage his cancer is at. There's a lot still unknown in terms of his treatment plan, all that kind of stuff. Along with Prince Charles, uh, Kate Middleton, William's wife, had abdominal surgery about a month ago, I think mid to late January, and has been recovering from that surgery ever since and isn't expected to get back to her um, like duties until after Easter. So people, of course, when this came out about William pulling out of this um, m- m- memorial for personal reasons, people assumed that it was because of Kate. Well, apparently, according to the royal family, um, Kate is doing well and she's recovering well. So it doesn't seem like it's because of what's going on with Kate. But this whole situation just feels it just feels weird. And again, like I said, there's a lot of people that are making assumptions that are reading into things. And I, I'm not here to necessarily, you know, I uh, make assumptions about people's health or, or anything like that. But I, I, I do feel like something feels weirdly off with the royal family. And the royals, you know, they're very much people that keep things close to the vest. They don't reveal a lot. They're... Um, they love to keep things secret and hidden and they like to put out this front that they're this perfect polished family obviously we know from books shows documentaries that that's not the case um but it's but it's very interesting it's very curious i think what's going on with kate is interesting again because abdominal surgery you can understand a certain amount of time off is required for that but the fact that she's been are going to be taking off and out of the public eye for like three months is a little curious i don't know it's just a very interesting thing and i'll be curious to see and also there's all these rumors coming up about harry and harry obviously went back to england to meet with his father after the diagnosis was announced and he is now apparently open to like joining back with his royal duties. I don't know. I just think there's a lot going on behind the scenes with the royal family. And I'll be very curious over the next handful of weeks, months, to see what unfolds there. Now, I'm not the biggest royalist, but I do find it interesting. I mean, I do watch The Crown, and I know that they're done making The the Crown for now, but I think in 10, 15 years, when they do revisit it and come back to this point in time, I think there's going to be a lot of materials out there um, for them to to create an interesting show because there is something going on. In in my personal opinion, there's something happening and we just don't know what that is quite yet. All right, guys, that is our show. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Taylor Swift's dad photographer situation, what you think of this royal family situation. I'd love to know all your theories. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. (laughs) 